Hey, hi everyone, John Lee here, AKA The Property Shark. What to invest in the financial market? What stocks to buy? How should I even start investing? Um, I'm sure definitely that's a that's been on a lot of people's mind and I definitely wanna address that. So without a question, we have a health scare, a pandemic going on. It's taken the world by storm. A lot of cities are in lockdowns. A lot of businesses are temporarily closed. People are losing jobs. This thing is here, it is real. and. For a lot of investors out there, people like myself, we've kind of been waiting on the sidelines. We've heard it from the greats, Grant Cardone, Patrick A. David, uh, Gary V, Cash is King, Cash is King. So you know, we've been kind of sitting on the sidelines watching the financial markets. And to be honest, you know, if you're like me, you're, you're probably waiting for an opportunity like this to come. And no, I don't mean, you know, terrible health. I don't mean to scare you guys. Uh, you know, I wish everyone well. I wish everyone stay safe, stay indoors if you can. Um, and if you go out, try to maintain your distance with people, social distancing. Let's help flatten out the curve and shout out to the frontline workers, um, the, the nurses, the doctors that are, you know, tackling and fighting coronavirus on our behalf. Thank you so much. But what I meant was, you know, we've experienced a great bull run since 2009. And, you know, we've, this is something we've never seen in the history of the United States before. Watch my video uh, link down below for the history of um, the stock markets and, and what my predictions are for this particular one. But um, if you look at it, you know, Dow Jones is down, is down 3,800 points from what it was um, a couple weeks ago. And, you know, on today, um, today is March 24th, uh, you know, because of speculation that the, the feds will approve and really try to push through the um, $2 trillion stimulus package, you know, the Dow Jones rose up today. So good news for you guys, market, you know, my pickup, it might keep on going up and start an upward trend, it might correct down, who knows, but I feel like today it's important, you know, to show you what stocks I'm investing and why I'm investing in them. And I want to give everyone out there, you know, a, a behind the scenes thought process of what companies I'm strategically investing in and why. So hopefully you can learn something from it. You can take something away from it and apply that to your everyday life as well. So let's get right into it. Um, Welcome back to my channel. My name is John Lee, also known as The Property Shark. Um, and thank you so much for tuning in. And if you haven't yet, smash that subscription, subscribe button, subscribe button, smash it, break it, smash that notification bell. Uh, really do appreciate it. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You know, let's help boost the YouTube algorithm. Let's show this video to a lot more people out there that need to see this, that could really use some help with this. So give it a thumbs up if you found value and you think you're gonna learn a lot from this video today. So let's get right into it. And before I want to, you know, get into the specific stocks that I pay, just full disclosure, you know, these stocks are just my personal opinion. Um, and, you know, I've done my homework. I'm still waiting out to see uh, the best time to, to buy into the stock, so I definitely recommend that you do the same. Do your due diligence, do your homework prior to investing in any stock because after all, this is your hard earned money and you wanna make sure that you put it in the right place at the right time. But really, if you play your chess pieces right and you know you, you park your money at the right time, which is a time like this right now when a pandemic, a crisis hits, um, and you strategically maneuver it, you know, you can come out of this when the market picks up again, you can come out of this and you can really um, increase your net worth by multifolds. And, you know, definitely if you look at the famous investor, um, Warren Buffett, that's how he grew, was able to explode uh, snowball effect. His autobiography if you've read it it's an amazing book um also uh ray dalio is an amazing investor too um and also uh the the founder of vanguard i forgot his name but if you look at these people these people um you know were, were able to accumulate massive amounts of wealth um through the financial stock market and just by playing their their chesses right so the number one company that you know i would that i'm looking at investing into is boeing uh, uh the, the ticker name is ba and 
Boeing is a company that manufactures and sells not only airplanes, telecommunications, satellite, rockets, and missiles. They are in fact the largest aerospace manufacturer. And if you look at their stock one year ago, they were at like 440 bucks, but now they've dropped to around $80. They have corrected again today a little bit um, because Dow Jones Industrial Average has rebounded as well. Um, I think they're around 110, if I remember correctly. Um, now there's a couple reasons for their stock drop, right? The most primary reason is their new fleet, their new plane 7378. Uh, countries and airlines were grounding these planes and refusing to fly them simply because of a lot of issues uh, regarding the safety and stuff. And, and a lot of these, if you can look back on, on the news, a lot of these uh, planes have taken off. They've you know had problems landing, things like that. So um, you know. It might really take a long time for Boeing to fully address these issues and resolve these problems and the safety concerns. Um, but most importantly, it'll take them a while to gain the trust of the consumer again on the market. Um, and number two, escal this escalated everything again with the health pandemic, uh, scare in the coronavirus. You know, flights are being canceled. The demand for airplanes have probably shrunk by a lot as well, if as you can imagine, because there's not too much demand for flying. Um, so, you know, probably I'm assuming a lot of um, orders of airplanes have been delayed or pushed off or canceled. So um, that's another thing. And a recession is also brewing, meaning, you know, in the foreseeable future, at least in the next couple of quarters in 2020, definitely flight demand is not going to be high. Again, airplane demand won't be high. Airlines won't be looking to upgrade their fleet or buy new planes as well. So with all these factors combined, you know, investors are starting to lose confidence and in Boeing's ability to survive the recession, uh, especially they have a heavy debt, heavy debts. Um, on that note, we can't deny the importance of Boeing. You know, they are the largest aerospace manufacturing company. They are such a critical component um, to not only the United States uh, supply of airplanes, but also the global supply of airplanes as well. And not to and not to forget that they also have strategic partnerships and alliances with NASA. Uh, building rockets and also with the United States Army, their air fleets there. So um, again, it's really hard to see Boeing really go down under. Um, but you know, I I I I I want to stress the importance of Boeing be a higher risk stock play right now. And um, as an investor, you really have to do your homework and research before you invest your hard earned money into it. So. Um, Number two, on the similar note of uh, airplane manufacturer, let's talk about airlines. So um, if you're not United States, definitely Delta Airlines. Uh, there is a United Airlines. There is uh, American Airlines. Um, and also in Canada, you have WestJet Air Canada. But, you know, I'm looking at Delta Airlines right now in the United States. The stock ticker is DAL. Um, and the reason for that is, again, they are the largest American airline with market cap over $245 billion. Um, and compared to American Airline of only $61 billion and also compared to the United at $103 billion market cap only. So they are the biggest market cap airline companies, um, they have a large safety net of cash reserves to get them through this pandemic, about $28 billion cash on hand. So in a time of crisis like this, um, I, I would pick out, again, mindset and tips, or pick out um, the biggest company, uh, market cap company uh, in a specific category, or the company with a lot more cash holdings. And the reason for that is because we're gonna expect a recession to hit. We don't really know how long this um, situation is gonna be on standstill till. So it's really important that you want a company that is not only reputable, that has a large market cap, but also has a lot of cash on hand to help them maneuver through the tough and rough times. So um, Delta is you know, the best example for an airline company in the United States. Uh, definitely in the short term though, we're gonna see in the next couple of quarters of 2020 that the revenues are gonna take a big hit. Um, flights are gonna be canceled or postponed and we've already seen that being in effect across Canada, United States as well. Um, and it's just gonna escalate, especially with the borders between Canada and US being shut down. Um, you know, in the foreseeable future, a lot of flights will be canceled, uh, but we're definitely gonna see Delta Airlines uh, come up and 
because you know at the end of the day people need to get from point A to point B and let's be honest Hopping on a plane is the most efficient and effective way to do so, um, and that's on a global scale, right? So definitely we're going to see a lot of growth in the airline industry to come and a lot of growth in the airline stocks. I anticipate to, for it to recover much quicker um, than the cruise lines. And that brings me to the number three topic, which is, you know, Carnival Cruise Line. So my number three stock, CCL Carnival Cruise Line, or for that matter, any stock, cruise line stock, uh, including Royal Caribbean or Norwegian Cruise Line. Uh, Carnival Cruise Line, CCL, they're the largest cruise line in the world and they're in fact a pioneer. The last two weeks, they saw more than 80% drop in the stock market. Lowest dollar, lowest was eight bucks. Uh, they picked up to about 20 now, um, I believe when I last checked earlier this morning. So three months ago, their stock price was at 51, just to give you an idea of where it was at. Now with the health care and pandemic um, and a lot of cruise lines not being able to um, dock onto ports, you know, that's a lot of issue because, hey, we had the coronavirus outbreak on one of the cruise ships, princess ships, I believe. So um, definitely investors are selling off the shares because in the near, again, in the near foreseeable future, people are not going to go on cruises at all. People are not even flying. So um, 2020 revenue for cruise lines are going to take a huge hit. They're going to plummet, you know, and uh, stocks are plummeting, right? And when that happens, um, when people are scared, that's when you get greedy, right? So uh, when you come out of a recession, people have been stuck at home forever. People want to go travel. People want to go explore. Cruise lines are a fantastic way to get around for you to see a lot of places at once and have the convenient uh, convenience of, you know, moving from point A to point B to point C to point D on one single trip, especially if you're traveling to Europe or along the coast um, coastlines of LA, uh, Seattle, uh, Vancouver, Alaska, and all the way down to Mexico as well. So uh, a great way to travel. I love going cruise lines. I've been on a couple of them with my family. So I definitely see that, you know, people are going to, um, to hop on cruises and travel that way again, because it's been around for so long and come on, look back at Titanic. It's been around since Titanic. So um, I definitely believe that, you know, once this thing settles, um, they're going to come back. People are going to start going on cruises. So um, I would, you know, look at the stock and again, do your research before you invest in it. Um, it could go up again, you know, like it picked up uh, today or it could correct downwards more. Who knows? But always do your due diligence. Um, and the number three stock I want to talk about is Visa uh, uh, stock ticket V or any payment stock. And the reason with that, if you notice, if you go out um, and you want to buy stuff, people are not taking cash anymore. Guess what? You have to use uh, your credit card, your debit card. Um, and the beauty, the beautiful thing about Visa is I love their business model. They are acting as the middleman between the consumers and the banks where they take a cut out of each transaction that the consumer makes. But all the risk uh, is hedged on the banks themselves. So there's really no risk for Visa themselves. And there's no denying that the demand of card payments are only going to come up. And even come on, even if you look at buying things online, we do need a credit card of some sort to purchase an item online on Amazon, right? Or if you purchase tickets or something. So uh, card payments are the way to go. And um, there's a they have about 120 billion dollars in cash flow uh, and the debt ratio is only 50 percent so um, one thing to note here is visa stocks have barely corrected so this is again a great chance um, for you to get in on it you know with the little correction that it has because most likely it's going to take off again once this thing settles and even if it doesn't i mean there's still high demand for credit card payments especially in a time like this where a lot of people are moving towards online shopping um they're moving towards drive through takeout um that's the way to go and it will only the demand will only go up um so that was my number fourth pick let's go to my number fifth pick uh bank stocks so um, if you're in Canada, TD Bank, Scotia Bank, uh, RBC Bank, if you're United States, uh, Bank of America. Um, and so if you look at Bank of America, BAC, they are the second largest business banks uh, in the United States. In fact, you know, Warren Buffett uh, has the largest bank holding in Bank of America. Um, and one month ago, they were at about $35 and now it's down to about 18. Maybe it's corrected up to about 20 right now. So Fed's dropped the interest rates 
right? And when that happens, people panic、um, and they pull their money out for liquidity reasons. So they liquidate their asset.、Um, and in the foreseeable future, banks are such a critical part of the economy that we're definitely going to need them、uh, and, and have them around.、Um, there's no doubt about that. So it's very hard to see a bank go under because, again, it's such a critical component of the economy that. You know the Feds or the Bank of Canada will、uh, will not let that happen. So,、uh, you know I would invest in bank stocks right now. I think they're a great buy. And even if you look at the last recession too, Warren Buffett picked up a lot of Bank of、uh, America stocks at about five bucks,、um, and they've done really well. They've kind of climbed back up until then. So I would say you know since、uh, this temporary health scare scare is up.、Um, Bank stocks are taking a, a massive hit. This is a great time to get into it. And another great thing about bank stocks is it's a high dividend yield, and it'll pay about pay out over three percent、uh, annually. So that's a great another side income、um, for you to have on top of the potential gains of the stock、uh, stock itself, right? So、um, quickly going to go through the the next couple of、uh, these stocks. I wanted they want to speed speed through the, the the last couple of stocks. Just give you again some more hints on what specific categories、uh, of stocks you should really be looking at.、Uh, number six again, casino stocks. Anything related to、uh, tourism and travel, I would really look at them and consider them strongly.、Uh, when Um, MGM, Las Vegas Sands Corp, LVS,、uh, stock ticker MGM is MGM, and Win is W Y N N. So again, casino stocks are taking a big hit because why? They are closed off.、Uh, they have shut off all of their、uh, <laughs> all of their hotels. You know, the 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 government has stepped in and said you got to shut all these casinos down. So if you look back on the 2008 recession, you know when we had a great recession, you know. Casino stocks went down quite a bit, but hey, they've climbed back since, and I anticipate the same thing too.、Um, you know, people are greedy. People like to gamble, and not only that. I mean, because Las Vegas offers a multifold of entertainment options.、Um, they have Top Golf there. They have a lot of great shows. Cirque du Soleil is there. Magic shows,、uh, concerts are held there. So there's a lot of things to do for family、um, and friends as well. A lot of parties are hosted there. So I expect. You know, once this thing ends,、uh, casino stocks. Once they open their doors again, they're gonna、uh, shoot back up again.、Um, on that same note, number seven stock pick category: hotels.、Um, a lot of hotels are probably closed, or a lot of the demand for hotels are a lot less simply because people are traveling. People are looking to move from point A to point B. But I anticipate in the near future, once this all settles, people. Uh, want to move around, and that's just part of who we are. And we love to travel,、um, and the demand for hotels are always going to be there.、Um, I'm looking at Marriott Hotel, M A R,、uh, Hyatt,、um, and Hilton as well.、Uh, number eight,、uh, my pick is for、uh, ride ride sharing.、Um, so we'll look at services such as Uber、uh, and Lyft, and、um, With the demand of public transportation decreasing、uh, again, with the pandemic and health scare going on,、um, the second safe, safest thing or the third safest thing from you driving your own car or you renting out a car is to have someone drive you around. So I I do see that、um, uh, it's going to be you know in 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 this coming months it's going to be、uh, the demand of it is going to be high、uh, definitely and so because Uber and Lyft they have, again they are tech stocks that just came on the market and they're still. Trying to find a way to be profitable, but I think because it's corrected drastically, I think it is a good potential、uh, growth stock. Again, high risk, high reward. So you gotta weigh out your options and do your research.、Um, and number nine, I would look at alcohol stocks. When a recession hits, and this time it's、uh, combined with a health scare, you know people are staying at home. They have nothing to do. There's、uh, viral like drinking challenges, shot challenges going on right now. Um, with that being said, also with the economic downturn, people get sad, people get depressed, people are bored, so they turn to alcohol to kind of help them、uh, deal and and with their emotions. So alcohol stocks, hard liquor, beer,、uh, you know, Budweiser, BUD, Bud is a good example.、Um, they're a good buy. Also, in times like this,、uh, you know, a lot of these alcohol companies are stepping in to help the economy, so it also looks good、um, in the eyes of the consumer as well. I think a lot of、um, Beer companies are producing hand sanitizers、uh, right now as well to help with the demand. So you know they're doing a great job to not only help the society but 
hey, they have a product that people need and is in high demand too. Um, last but not least, food stocks. <laughs> As you know, if you go to Walmart, if you go to Save On Foods, a lot of the food stock aisles are just completely wiped out. Um, and the reason for that is people are hoarding and stocking up on food in the event that you know we're not going to be able to get any fresh products. So I would really look at perish non-perishable food items, canned food um, items, craft Heinz, uh, comes into mind you know katie a lot of people stuck up on craft dinner uh and they have a plenty fold of non-perishable food items so again it doesn't really make sense because their stock is going down right now but definitely you can see how important they are um and important to our society especially in a time like this where um you know food supply could really be cut off in the near future so uh we really need to plan ahead for that and for that reason i do um, expect the stock prices to go up so that was a quick rundown of my top 10 stocks and or categories that you should really consider look at investing and uh definitely do your research again the market is the market the market dictates everything and no one can really time the market or predict if it's going to go up or down so i would say just do your homework prior to investing but at least i hope you guys found value i hope that gives you a great sense idea in in terms of what stocks to watch out for or what category of stocks to really do your research and take your time to look into. Thank you so much to all of you for taking your time of watching this video till the very end. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I wanna see you comment down below if you're an investor um, and whether you're an investor or not, I wanna see what your top 10 stock picks are. Definitely share them to me down below and why as well. I would love to share and you know have an open discussion with you guys um, and maybe I could change my portfolio around as well. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't wait too longer. Uh, just go out there, take action um, and uh, definitely don't forget to stay safe, wash your hands, stay indoors. Let's help flatten out the curve. Uh, let's practice social distancing. Take care everyone, bye for now.